We start this video outside here at Howe Equipment, located in Jackson, Michigan. I am Matt Howe. A little bit of back scoop on me is I was a high school math teacher four years ago, and now if I look around and flip this camera, now I am the proud owner of a full-fledged equipment dealership. And so we sell Toro and Echo products. We're working on bringing in some other brands as well, but we do a really high level of volume of used power sports as well and used mowers, and we sell a select amount of trailers as well whether it be enclosed or open utility trailers so today we break down uh, a really good video talking about uh, if you're a commercial guy which one is for you do you go with the seven thousand dollar mower the ten thousand dollar mower or do you go ahead and step up to fifteen thousand and above so we're going to break that down going through the showroom doors here and talking about the commercials today but whether it's the residential stuff push mowers snow blowers here this winter definitely we can help you out here at how equipment so we're going to break down these guys today and thanks for tuning in uh, so as we enter into the showroom here i've got a good selection of different uh, variety this uh, mower right here the titan max technically is under the residential series for toro and uh, th this is still, even with that being said, they do give a limited commercial warranty on this. Uh, so that's why I wanted to talk about it, include it still in this. Uh, because if you are a guy who's starting out and you're on a budget, this still can suffice and be a mower that you can truly use commercially. And here we've got the Z-Master series. So that's where you're full on commercial if you're looking at the Toro line. And among the Toro line, it starts with a 2000 series mower and it goes up to a 6000 series mower. And you see framing difference there and how that's set up. You can see how the Titan Maxes look pretty similar to the, to the 2000 series Z Masters with, with some of how that frame is put together. But there's a few differences, you know, as we go back and forth in here. So let's, let's kind of just talk briefly on that $7,000 price point with the Titan Max. They do make a regular Titan, and this is the Titan Max. I definitely, if you were a commercial guy, the Titan series is too low. The Titan Max, like I said, is where you can truly start to think about using this commercially. This particular model is a Titan Max Havoc Edition. They make a regular Titan Max. There's some differences. I don't think offhand that the regular Titan Max has this roll bar, but the Havoc Edition does and you've got uh, lights on there as well, LED lights for the evening time. It's painted all black, and you're also getting upgraded uh, rims on that. So but other than that, apples to apples, uh, big components for what the mower is, it's really the same mower. Like I said, you are getting difference in roll bar and a few other things, but your main components, the way it's built, is exactly the same. So. Uh, this gets you access to the deck, which uh, up until this point, Toro is not giving you that same kind of accessibility. Uh, you've got a thick uh, deck on there. You move up to the uh, full Z-Master commercials and you're getting a seven gauge turbo force deck, which you're not getting on this stage, but you are getting a bull nosed edge, which you typically do not get. And you're also getting thicker gauge steel at this level as well, compared to a regular time cutter model, which is on my left. And you get nice, big, aggressive tires on there, and it's got a hitch uh, attached on the back. Uh, so one notable difference, uh, you know, as you go here, does not come standard with a suspension seat. If you're a commercial guy who's out there hours upon hours each day, that's a big factor as far as comfort goes. This is something you could maybe add after you buy it if it's a huge important factor to you. Uh, but to me, that's a, that's a real big difference when you're sitting on one compared to the other. Uh, you got chains there for the floating deck. Same kind of system here. And then you go uh, down this way and it's a different system, but it's also still floating. But um, it's a little heavier duty. And you are getting a high-end Kohler engine. Well, this is not a full-blown commercial engine, I wouldn't say. You've got a bigger air canister filter than you typically would get um, on just a regular residential uh, mower. Like you look at this, the air uh, filter is smaller. This one's so large that it's protruding from the engine a little bit. So you're getting a better engine um, as you go here. But if you go up in series, uh, the one I've got in particular over here, and there are different models on the 2000 series, uh, but this has an air canister filter that is fully excluded from the engine. And you're seeing the same thing here for the 6000 series. So the engines will obviously upgrade as you go up the line. 
huge factor in the valley of these mowers is the pumps. So this one comes standard with the ZT3100 hydro gear pump. Once you get to the 3000 uh, level on the pumps, that's where you're getting a, a much higher quality pump. And you know, this can go up to a 5400 cc pump. So even among you know, what you can do, this is still a lower level, you know, if we're talking commercial wise, compared to what you can get. But this is definitely where I'd start to say that is a quality pump. And typically they're starting, you know, on a low 2000 level for your pump size for a regular residential mower. So that's a, it's a much better pump that you're getting in there. When you move up to the 2000 series, you're coming standard with a 3400 cc pump. So still in that 3000 series, you know, there, there's different upgrades, makes, models, and all that. So this one is the HDX. Part of what the HDX gets you is a better Kawasaki engine, a little bit bigger, 24 and a half horsepower. And it gets you the 3800 cc hydro, hydro gear pumps. So that's a, that's a huge factor that affects the value on these mowers as you move up from series to series. The pump is going to get you speed and it's going to get you longevity of the pump and it's going to get you just that general durability, you know, compared from one to the other. So, you know, where you might get 500 to 1,000 hours out of a pump, you know, as you just continue to go up, you can go and, you know, I, I've seen them, it just all depends on how they're maintained. You know, I've seen them last over 2,000 hours, you know, for a good pump. So it, it really depends there. When you go up to the 6,000 series, this has a Parker transmission in it, which is different than the Hydro Gear series. And you can get that in a 12cc or a 16cc. The 6,000 series gets you the 16cc pump and it's just a more industrial grade pump. It's going to last longer and it's going to be significantly faster when you get to that level. These are the major things that you are paying for as you go up in grade is the uh, pump that's in there. This is a good quality pump right here and it just gets better and better as you move up in grade. And you're gonna see as I pop from one to the other, some of the minute differences that are adding in comfortability. I've talked about obviously the pumps, the engine a little bit, just some of these stylistic differences, you know, going from one to the other. You get accessibility to the deck. Uh, this one, if you look at this versus this, you've got just a little bit of this shock, you know, in here, it's just a rubber piece, but it's just a little bit of absorption that you're gonna get that you do not get. Uh, with the Titan Max. I talked about the deck being thicker, higher grade. You're getting a very similar build component, you know, from, from the Titan Max to the 2000 series Z Master. Your tires are significantly bigger as well as you move up in grade. If you can kind of see this height, it's kind of hard to tell uh, the exact difference, but it's from one to the other, from the 2000 to the 6000, you have to get out and actually look this tire is not that much smaller, maybe just a little bit. This is a 23 by 12 12. And if I move over to the 2000 series, it's a 24 by 12 12. So it's just a little bit bigger in diameter. Moving over to this one, it's a 24 by 12 12. So you're getting the, the same tire size, a little bit different pattern. Uh, this is the Carlisle tires on here. And this one is I'm trying to look at what the what the brand is. I don't see it. I just see it says uh, premium and it says super turf on there. I'm not sure what maybe that's the brand or just a model. But I mentioned the seat, so you got a suspension seat. It's a comfortable thing here, and you can change your stiffness. But when you move up to this. It's a whole nother animal as far as comfort when you have this dial. And a really big factor um, as well when I look at the, the Toro seats uh, versus maybe some of the other brands that have suspension seats are these isolation mounts. And when I push the seat back and forth, you can see that the whole mount moves. It makes an incredible difference for your comfort to have those little details that Toro makes. And of course, with all these uh, mowers, 
I talked about accessibility, but you're getting the rubber uh, grass shoots. Uh, you got pretty much the same kind of grass shoot in here from one to the other. This one's just a little bit different style, how it hooks onto the deck. Um, look at the interface here for how you're able to adjust the deck. I do actually like that a little bit more, even though it's a lower trim level. Um, but anyway, it's a nice magnetic pin system. Uh, these 6000 series mowers have been using this style system for adjusting the deck for a long time now. And it's a, it's a nice clear system. You're getting quarter inch cutting increments, which goes all the way up to five inches on this one. And you're getting the same thing. It's going up to five inches on that as well. Um, you know, and, and another thing as you go up in grade, I believe once you're at the 6000 series, I've got run flat tires on the front. That's coming as a standard. You're not gonna get that in the 2000 series, but you've got some rubber padding that's actually coming on these lower line trims. And they don't do that as a standard for whatever reason. I do like as you go up in grade that this is easier to pull this plastic cover on and off. You don't get that same thing. You've gotta get a uh, ratchet gun out and pop that cover off. So it's just the, the accessibility goes to higher levels, you know, as you continue to go up and, and trim. But I certainly like the cool factor, the way it looks, you know, these lower lines. Toro's been doing this style on the 6000 series for a long time, and it's just a very high quality build, and it's been working really well for Toro for a long time. One difference, you know, compared to some others, Toro's kind of known for this style fender, and you get a magnetic little piece here. It's actually, if I press it lightly, it doesn't move, but the magnet holds that down. So you got a little bit of storage there, which is great. Now, it just totally depends. I happen to have three of these 6,000 series mowers all the way up to that My Ride suspension. So it just, it depends on which one you're going with. I happen to have one that I've been pointing at this whole time. I think that's a 26 and a half Kohler fuel injected. They've got a 38 horse uh, Kohler option over there that has Horizon technology, which is kind of like a smart system. Doesn't work off a traditional throttle, just moving back and forth. It's got three different settings that you can put this at, but it's kind of a, it's like a smart system that if you're going in heavier grass, it'll kick up your blade tip speed. It preserves your fuel to a greater degree. There's some other factors in there that the Horizon gets you. But that's just you know one thing over the other. They have yet to get this uh, My Ride as well. The My Ride's coming with a 31 horsepower Kawasaki. The price differences are incredible as you look because all these are 60 inch decks. This one, if it was not the Havoc Edition, is in the $7,000 mark uh maybe a little bit more than that actually the havoc editions in the upper seven thousands as far as price goes right now and just with supplies and, and the the labor and everything going on right now it's just it's been wild as some of these prices have gone up and us as dealers want to be a, as low as you guys do because we know that's more appealing but that's the reality his price has gone up the last couple of years and this one i think is in the it's, it's a little over $10,000 to get into this unit. So you've got you know around a $2,500 to $3,500 price difference from one mower to the next here. And like I said, the comfort, all these extra features I've talked about, to me, the biggest things that I'm looking at, I'm really curious every single time I look into a mower as to the pump size. So you're significantly faster when you jump into the 2000 series just because it has a 3800 cc pump versus the 3100 cc pump a lot of people are just strictly looking at this from uh, the engine size perspective thinking that's what gives you that speed and bigger better all that sort of stuff they've got a 6000 series with a 26 horsepower option it's a 26 and a half horsepower option and this is a 26 horsepower option so you know why is it so much better why is it so much faster it's, it's not the engine it's the transmissions that are going in this so that's to me the number one factor that i'm looking at when i'm looking at a mower besides that toro's really high quality of build is important uh, you know a, a huge factor but i'm looking at those big baseline components first and you know that that's a big difference as we're going from one to the other so to me notable differences is of course transmissions like i talked about you're getting a much higher grade engine 
and some of those accessibility points are the same. To me, the suspension seat is a huge factor going from, from one to the other as well. Just a quick pause from the video here. I just kind of want to break down and show those. This might be a great time to pause uh, the screen and look through some of these details here between these mowers. And I've talked up until this point about what's sitting in front of me. What Toro has to offer right now is a 2000 series mower. They've got a 4000 series, 5000 and a six. So I'm looking at the smallest Z-Master and the biggest one. There are numbers in between on all this as well. If you want just a little bit more than what the 2000 series has to offer, or maybe a little bit less than what the 6000 is needed. But you know, other, other things that maybe I'm not mentioning outside of this video is you know, your fuel capacity, you're going seven gallon versus up to a 12 gallon capacity. Um, the cutting height is actually, um, it's actually five inches and it goes up to five and a half. You can see some of these other differences. Huge, huge factor is the warranty as you look at these. You're getting the four year, 1000 hour limited warranty or a four year, 750 hour warranty, depending on what you're going. And as you go up for, from 4,000 series and above, you're gonna range from a 1,250 hour warranty to, and they even have a, up to a 1,500 hour warranty, up to a 1,400 hour warranty. And there's a limit for just the first two years as well. So they're not gonna cover you know, 1,200 hours if it's 10 years later. They're gonna do that for one or the other on that. So that's a huge factor. You look at the, the warranty differences when you're going from one to the other. Um, you know, we mentioned some other things already in the video, like the drive tires, talked about, uh, you know, going up to flat free options as you go higher up. A lot of different engine options that you can get as you go from one to the other. And they talked about a 38 horsepower uh, fuel injected Kohler you know, there's a 37 horsepower Vanguard. That's a really big engine. And like I said, it can go as small as a 26 and a half horsepower engine. So really good uh, piece of information, pieces of information uh, right here in this booklet. Wanted to break down, interrupt the video. So back to it. And then, you know, going up to these price points on the 6000 series, it's such a high level mower. And this is where it really depends on how you're buying because Toro has a fleet program. So promotional pricing is gonna start in the 6000 series around $17,000 and up, which is a huge price tag. Completely understand that it, you know, it seems like so much for a mower, but you can go lower and get a little bit less. You, know, you can stay in that seven to $10,000 price point if you want. But if you want a transmission that's going to last significantly longer, move significantly faster and has this tried and true deck along with the frame, the 6000 series is for you because the transmissions are going to last longer. They're going to uh, be able to run all day long without any problem. And you know, you're gonna be moving significantly faster and time is money. And, but anyway, it's not a blanket that this costs seventeen thousand dollars and up depending on which trim level you get uh, you can get fleet pricing so toro offers a significant discount if you're getting so many points so if you buy some of these big high level mowers you're getting three or four points on this toro scale if you buy a couple mowers at a time that's where you're starting to get significant savings as far as you know what you're buying you can save a uh, thousand to three thousand dollars you know on a mower if you're ordering in bulk so if you're a really big guy uh, don't necessarily get hung up on that really high level price point because you may be getting into you know two of these if you end up getting into three or four of these if you're doing a really big fleet you're saving a significant amount of money you know on what you're looking at up front so yes it's a lot of money um, but you know when you buy something maybe you spend double the amount of money versus what you can get at some of these lower levels um, it's going to save you in the long term you know you're going to be in the shop less uh, you just got more indestructible parts and to me the transmissions again we keep coming back to that is going to be uh, just the biggest uh, factor going into this 
If you enjoyed the video, please like, please subscribe. It uh, means a lot to us here. If you are located in Michigan and you are a commercial guy, we are making a point to hold uh, a lot of these big mowers because we want to serve those guys, those commercial guys, whether you're just starting out or whether you got you know, multiple crews out there. Uh, we we want to help you here at Howe Equipment. And thank you for joining. Until next time, we'll see you. Tool or toy, we have it.